Do you see in the near future organizations having the ability to share risk assessments on their customers to prevent fraud? I think we, we will eventually go there. I think to have some type of global insight, uh, it, it will sooner rather than later become essential. And um, it's not new. Uh, I think we had uh, many efforts before, especially around uh, big traditional banks to create those type of consortium. Uh, early warning is a great example for that. Uh, but one thing that we are doing today in Unit 21 is we are developing the FinTech Fraud DAO, which will basically allow any user that decides to join our consortium. It will allow you to query the PII of your applicant or existing user, and you will get a response of whether or not this specific entity was flagged as fraudulent or abusive by one of the other players on their consortium. The beauty of it is that our model is designed in a way you have to give to get. So if you want to be part of our consortium, it also means that you will have to share uh, information on your user or your applicants. And we do it in a very decentralized way. So we don't own the consortium, right? We don't own the database. Uh, and basically, even if we, let's say somebody comes and decide to buy unit 21, right? They won't become the owner and they won't see all those different uh, entities because everything is encrypted, obviously, on the database of our, our DAO. Um, and I, th I, th I think eventually a lot of fraud prevention practices, especially around onboarding, uh, will start using some type of, of global insights and to be actually be able to tell, hey, you know, this entity already did something or conducted any type of fraud or abuse anywhere else. So I maybe I will think twice before onboarding them or I will decide to onboard them, but have them with more limited access to their account. So a lot of different ways you can actually use consortium. Uh, and also this is relevant for existing customers as well. So for example, if if you're conducting uh, some type of investigation and you think you have, let's say, quite large fraud, and maybe you have 50 or 100 users that connect to each other in a similar way, uh, you can take the elements of those entities and query them against the consortium to try to understand if those users have been flagged anywhere else. And chances are, if you suspect it's a fraud ring, once you query one, two, three, four, five of them, and you start seeing that, yes, the results are positive, um, then you probably have uh, a true fraud ring operating on your ecosystem. Mm -hmm.